Welcome to this second video explaining the new functionality available in Pitstop Pro and Pitstop Server version 13 update 2. This is a free upgrade to any users already using Pitstop version 13 or 13 update 1. Beginning with this Pitstop update, we launch two major initiatives, putting Pitstop functionality in a class all its own. The first is support for a new upcoming ISO specification titled ISO 19593-1 Processing Steps. In anticipation of this specification being published, we are releasing the first in a series of new features to support this spec and to give Pitstop users a jumpstart on how it works, as this standard is certain to become supported throughout the industry. The specification outlines how layers or optional content groups in PDF should be defined to support the non-printing elements of a complex PDF file. Such elements could include a cutter guide, embossing, foiling, and other post-press processes and techniques, including special finishes. The specification defines which type of object should be used and the attributes it should have. Single spot color, overprint, no use of transparency blend modes, to name but a few. Layers are not identified by name. In fact, the layer names are irrelevant. The layers and the objects they represent are defined by attached metadata that describes the applicable processing step. With processing steps metadata intact, layers can be localized and the software will still know how to interpret this content. This means that ISO 19593-1 conforming files lend themselves to automated production and are therefore more efficient to process. In Pitstop Pro version 13, update 2, we introduce new actions to select, change, and check layers so they can become processing steps. We also have an action to remove that metadata as well. Users can start right away by exploring the new default action lists that create processing step layers based on spot color separation names. These names are based on lists, so they can be adjusted to support your internal workflow. It's also possible to select existing layers and convert them to processing steps, but those action lists are not shipped as standard. Preflight for Packaging is the second new initiative introduced in Pitstop 13 Update 2. In Pitstop version 13 Update 1, preflight restrictions were introduced to help packaging workflows more precisely process the intricacies of package designs that are often not bound to the confines of PDF page boxes, but instead exist within shapes on the page. Packaging PDF files also frequently contain non-printing information about the job that does not require preflighting, such as dimensions, for example. Preflight restrictions work by using an existing shape on the page, such as a die line, and limiting the checks to objects within or overlapping this shape, much the same way you would use a trim box or bleed box in a commercial printing PDF file. Working in collaboration with ESCO, the market leader in packaging production solutions, Pitstop 13 Update 2 includes specific functionality for packaging files created with ESCO applications. A variety of standard Pitstop action lists can be found in the ESCO packaging category, which all focus on the characteristics of barcodes and inks. When an ESCO normalized file is created, certain metadata is included in the PDF file, which tags the attributes of barcodes and inks. With the new Pitstop ESCO packaging action lists, users can check the presence of type and value of an ESCO barcode. We also have the ability to select an ESCO barcode so you can construct your own additional preflight checks 
such as number of color separations, color separation name, and on which layer, if any, the barcode is associated with. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you enjoy exploring the new features included within our latest update of Pitstop version 13, Update 2.